Well, it's official. I own a Ford. Went and got my plates registered in my name. So, uh, after a good 30 minutes at the old Wisconsin DMV, really didn't have any problems, which I didn't think I would. I got a clean new title and I went and pl plated it right away too. There's been some issues lately with getting plates and stuff, so I figured I'll just get the plates now. Granted, yes, I know the car's not in the road, but it should be by spring. So then I can just put my plates on, drive it for a year or two, and then I'll convert it over to a hobbyist plate or a collector plate. This car will probably have to be a hobbyist plate, no big deal. But the rules keep changing in that category, so we'll see. Been playing with my roofage, getting the screws out. I wasn't going to take that off at first, but seeing how bad the wood is in this body, it'll just be easier getting access from, you know, the big hole than it is trying to do it from the inside. That and some of that wood is kind of going to have to be able to get out without that on there. So we'll take the roof off. I'm not sure if I'm going to put that back on or not. I know it's got the, uh, yeah, you can't see it, but it's a Coca-Cola sign. But it's so badly beat up. And then uh, going down the road, I think that's all you're going to hear. <laughs> we'll see. As of right now, I gotta get it off. And then, uh, let's see, what else do I got? I get this tr molding off. It's actually nailed on, but the wood is so rotten. It, they had screws in here. So I got that off. That came off pretty easy. I gotta get this back one off now. This side's still on, but you can see somebody added some screws in there to hold it on, but it's it's not even on there. Like I said, the wood is so rotten underneath there. I did toy with the idea of buying a wood kit because me and wood don't get along. If I can't weld it, I usually don't like it. <laughs> but since we're not making this original, I'm thinking I might replace the wood with metal. That's what I'm thinking. Until I get the top off, I get the wood out kind of eye up stuff. I'll make that decision then. Roofage wise, kind of want to put the vinyl top back on. Uh, I did price that out. It's not that expensive. Won't be that hard to do. That or, you know, I'll cut a section of a Suburban. Weld that in. Haven't decided yet on that. That's, that's down the road. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Noah, oh, you probably can notice I got it in the working bay now. Since that, uh, you know, big Buick isn't in here. That itty bitty little body, <laughs> it takes up not much room. So that's kind of neat. But uh, also today, I know I was on the fence of what I was going to do for uh, framage. I stopped up by these guys. This afternoon, that's in Belgium, Wisconsin, which isn't that far from me. And place my order for my frame. Uh, they make the frames basically for a lot of people. I know they make them for uh, Speedway, and I think they make them for uh, SoCal now. At least the 32 frame rails they do. So being that they're only, you know, 12 miles up the road, Figured why not just go up there and order it. I know we talked about making a frame. I know I talked about, you know, boxing in the original. For the price, being that's all new, new metal, everything will be in the right spot. It just couldn't go wrong. So, and that'll really speed up this project because I really don't want to. I want this done by spring. That's the goal. And as of right now, there's really no reason why that shouldn't happen. Something will come up, don't worry. It always does, but... So that's what's going on.
had today off. Today's Friday. So after spending, you know, a whole bunch of time at the DMV and then driving the other direction all the way up to get my frame ordered. Got a whole bunch of miles on. So now it's back to, you know, playing in the body, get that roof off, see what we got left in the wood, and then uh, go from there. So, later guys. I don't think I've really shown this as of late, mostly because the Buick was in the way. <laughs> but I still got my sticker board up. I know all you guys are still following, and I'm following you guys. And, uh... I know summer's been kind of hectic, but anybody new out there that wants to do a sticker swap, if you don't see yourself up here, you know, PM me your address. I do have stickers left. I don't have a lot left, but I do have stickers left. And if the demand is good, I will order another batch of stickers. And it seemed like this was a bigger deal over the winter time. Summertime, you know, usually you're busy cutting grass and enjoying the nice weather, so... Other than that, talk to you all later.